Hey guys, as some of you may know, every month I like to do a new manicure. So for the month of October, I'll be doing a Halloween themed manicure with gel polish and holographic powder. I really hope you enjoy and stay tuned to see how I achieve these holographic drip nails for Halloween. So first here I'm starting with my ASP Black Gel Polish. I'm doing two coats of this and being really careful to go all the way up to the cuticle as well as making sure there are absolutely no bumps and bubbles in it since this is going to be a matte base. Everything, absolutely every imperfection is going to show up under the matte top coat. So take your time here and really make sure you put down a perfect black polish base. Next, I'm moving on to my matte gel top coat. I'm applying two coats of this, and much like the black base we just applied, we want to make sure there are no imperfections, and also be sure to go right to the cuticle and cap the edge. After we wipe the nail, we want to be sure that we've covered the entire surface area of the nail, and there are no shiny pieces showing through. And here comes my absolute favorite part where you can really see the matte show through. I'm taking a cotton ball and some 70% rubbing alcohol and removing that inhibition layer, the sticky layer, so that you can see the matte underneath. Here I'm just taking a little bit of no wipe top coat and putting it on a little glass dish that I actually bought for eyelash extension glue. And then in my dappen dish I'm putting some isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol to help clean my brush as we paint our designs. So when you are busy painting your drips, whether it's slime or blood, whatever it is, just make sure that each finger is a little bit different. Here on my thumb, I'm painting five more thin drips, but all of them are different variations in length. Whereas on my index finger, I only did three slime drips, which are more thick. And I changed it up on each of my nails, different lengths, different variations, kind of zigzagging between different lengths to really keep it interesting and unique. The next part here is pretty self-explanatory. Absolutely everybody and their mother have seen this blow up all over the internet. I'm just taking a silicone tipped pen, dipping it into the holographic powder and rubbing it all over the nail. You can be pretty messy with this. As you can see here, I'm taking my fan brush and dusting all that excess powder away as well as using a makeup sponge. What's so great about the no wipe top coat is the holographic powder is only gonna stick to that, not to the matte top coat. So it makes cleanup really easy. Lastly, I'm going back in with my detailed brush and the no wipe top coat and being really careful to go only over the holographic powder portions. Try not to go over the edge. Since this is a glossy top coat, you will be able to see a black line where the glossy top coat meets matte. So try stay only on the holographic drips because it will be noticeable. Also being sure to cap the sides of the nail and the free edge to make sure none of that powder rubs off. And that's all there is to it. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you'd like to see me quickly finish off the rest of my hand, stay tuned.
Turn it 